hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here the question is asking four power transistors each dissipating 12 watts are mounted on a thin vertical aluminium plate 22 centimeter times 22 centimeter in size the heat generated by the transistors is to be dissipated by both surfaces of the plate to be placed plate to the surrounding air at 25 degrees Celsius which is blown over the plate by a fan right so this is going to be the initial temperature the entire plate can be assumed to be nearly isothermal and the exposed surface area of the transistor can be taken to be equal to its base area if the average convection heat transfer coefficient is 25 watts per meter square kelvin determine the temperature of the aluminium plate right so let's see how we can find it so here the equation we are going to use to find the temperature the question is to find the final temperature of this aluminium right temperature of the aluminium plate so let's see how we can find it so here the equation we are going to use is q dot that is heat transfer rate that is equal to h a s delta t so here this h is this value right here heat transfer coefficient so this is h and area we know that this is uh, given by 22 by 22 but they are saying the transistor is to be dissipated by both surfaces of the plate so both surface mean is 22 by 22 but we have to multiply by 2 right so area is going to be 22 by 22 times 2 and this is in centimeter right so centimeter to convert centimeter into meter we multiply by 10 to the power of minus 2 meter and here we have centimeter times centimeter so this is going to be 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square so this is going to be the area and if you calculate this one this is going to give you 0 0.0968 meter square so that's going to be the value and let's look at the other things we have h value that's provided so delta t is but we are trying to find delta t is equal to q dot over h a s and delta t is same as t2 minus t1 so here the t1 is going to be ar ar's temperature that's given right here q dot over h a s area of the surface and t2 is equal to q dot over h a s plus t1 so this is what we are going to use to find the temperature so let's see whether we have all the information we have h we have found out the area but q dot so they are saying 4 power transistor each dissipating 12 watts so each dissipating 12 watts means heat transfer for each is 12 joules per second so to calculate for the 4 power transistor we have to multiply by 4 so total q dot is going to be 4 times 12 watts and that's going to give us 48 watts so that's going to be the q dot value let's go ahead and plug the values therefore t2 is going to be equal to 48 watts divided by thermal heat transfer coefficient that is 25 watts per meter square kelvin times the area that is 0 0.0968 meter square right and this is going to be the area and then we have to put plus the temperature of the air that is 25 degrees celsius right and this unit if you notice this meter square kelvin and this watts watts cancels meter square meter square cancels but the final answer we are going to get in degrees celsius because this one is same as watts per meter square degrees celsius right this works in Kelvin when we use delta T because delta T for Kelvin and degrees Celsius it's same thing. But here 
when we try to find temperature, it's always going to be degree Celsius. When you calculate this one, it's going to be degree Celsius, right? And if you calculate this one, this is going to be 19.835 and we have 25 degrees Celsius. 25 degrees Celsius and that's going to give us 45 degrees Celsius. So this is going to be the final answer. This is going to be the temperature of this aluminium plate and that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.